What are some tips that you have learned about preparing for retirement? What would you have done differently if you knew then what you know now? Ah, uh, retirement. It's one of those far-off concepts that suddenly isn't so far off once you hit a certain age. You start to think about all those road trips you'll take or how many hours you can dedicate to your garden without the nagging pull of an endless inbox. I've learned a bit about this topic as I've started to see it on the horizon. And here's my two cents from right here in Portland. Start saving earlier, like yesterday. The magic of compound interest really can't be overstated. If I could send a message back to my younger self, it would scream, put more money into your 401k and IRA, you goof. The earlier you start, the more you can take advantage of that sweet, sweet exponential growth. Time in the market always beats timing the market. Get clear on your retirement vision. Do you want to travel the world? Settle down in a cabin by Mount Hood? Maybe take up woodworking or finally write that novel? Knowing what you want retirement to look like can inform how you should be saving and investing right now. Portland's almost DIY. Crafty ethos has certainly inspired me to think about how I want to spend my golden years. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, unless it's a basket of fresh produce from the Portland farmer's market. Those are consistently good eggs. Diversification is your pal. It spreads risk and can provide more stable returns over time. Stocks, bonds, real estate, yeah, even with the Portland housing market as it is, and other assets can balance things out. Healthcare costs will sneak up on you. One word, Medicare. Understand it, plan for it, and remember, it doesn't cover everything. Additional health costs can be substantial, and long-term care is a whole other ballgame. I'd definitely have set aside more for potential medical expenses if I'd known just how much those costs can impact retirement savings. Live below your means. Now this one might sound more like something your granddad would say rather than advice that's relevant today, but it's timeless. If you can't manage your money when you're earning it, you're going to be in a tight spot when you're on a fixed income. Enjoy life, sure, but don't forget to save for your future self. Social Security isn't a retirement plan. It's a piece of the puzzle, but it's not the whole picture. Relying on it like the weather forecast in Oregon, let's face it, it's going to rain, is precarious. It's meant as a supplement, and the benefit you get will depend on when you decide to start taking it. Be wary of lifestyle creep. As your income increases, so does the temptation to upgrade everything from your car to your coffee order. But you know, the coffee at the little cart down the street from me might not be as fancy as what you'd find at a high-end coffee house, but it sure satisfies. Keeping simple joys over lavish habits means you can save more for when you really need it. Keep learning, stay adaptable. New investment strategies, tax laws, technology. Staying informed is part of maintaining your financial health. I mean, I love a good novel or a deep dive into Oregon's history, but I also make sure I crack open a financial book or article from time to time. What would I have done differently? I'd have taken more time to educate myself on personal finance early on, maxed out retirement accounts sooner, and might have even looked into a side hustle a bit more seriously. Maybe creating a unique Portland-based tour service, or going deeper into the world of artisan sourdough. The key is to start planning before the retirement party, not at it. 